Well guys, it's been a while since we talked. By a while, I mean two days, but a lot has happened in those two days. You know, I ended my last video, or started it, saying that I was gonna go fish a tournament, do this and that, film the practice, film the tournament. Shockingly, that didn't go so hot. I went during the day of a major cold front. I fished the lake in the summer a lot, hadn't fished it in the spring. I was a little cocky, I was a little arrogant. I went in thinking I could find the fish just in one practice day and uh, caught one bass all day. The problem was, is that this lake is a big mud bowl and the fish only spawn in two, two to three main areas that they even can because the only gravel shorelines. So I went to the only gravel shoreline I could, caught the one fish in there, two or three other boats saw me do it and I got the vibe and from just from talking to people from my own experience that it was gonna be one of those tournaments where 50 boats were gonna be fishing two to three shorelines and I hate those, didn't wanna do that. So I fished all day on Friday to practice for that tournament and then just turned around and drove the two hours back home. So yesterday, Jack and I were gonna rebound, you know, go fishing in Brookville, film a cool video there. We were gonna to try to get some stripers. How cool would that have been? But this happened. <laughs> this is so bad. Jack, how was the fishing today? <laughs> the bass live another day. So bad. Jack, give a quick explanation of what happened. You understand mechanics better than I do. Here, come over here. Well, we were driving down the road, <laughs> and we heard a little whistling sound, so I look out the window, and Chris's wheel just starts going out He's away like, from the trailer. Uh, the wheel's coming off. And sure enough, it came off. Well, mechanically, what happened? How do I put this? The bearing pretty much exploded like a goddamn grenade. Your face is ugly. Well, um, trailer's getting towed right now. The spindle, we're pretty sure, is screwed up. There's a lot of divots in it from when the bearing exploded, and we don't think it's going to be able to be repaired. And by repaired, we mean just like the word he described was machine sh machine chopped. What was it? He said something machine chop, basically just meaning the swindle is smooth enough to, you, to where you can fit everything on it. Don't think that's gonna happen. So she's getting trailered to their mechanic store. Well, that sounded horrible. She's getting trailered to their shop and likely going to need an entire new axle on the boat. We need a new axle. I'm so excited. Bust out another thousand. So we're gonna keep on keeping on. We're gonna shore fish today, actually. Jack told me he's got a really cool shore fishing place where you go catch a lot of saw guy. I don't know, so I'm picking up night crawlers right now and we are going to go do that. Okay, it's five car here. I think that's all we needed. Jack was working on a project. I'm gonna, let's call him. Let's give him a call and see if we need anything else. Are you ready to be picked up? Yeah, I'm tying up right now, so I just need like one minute. All right, cool. I'll be there soon. All right, bye. Go, go. Catch some saw guys. Oh, look at that sporty vest. All right, this is your fishing spot, your rig. I know nothing about what we're doing, so you said it's kind of an interesting technique. Why don't you lay it on the line for us here, Jack? It's just a split shot, a hook, the worm, and then you blow a little bit of air into the worm so it floats off the bottom. It's like a V. Are these saw guys like spawning, done spawning? They're just here. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know why they're here. They're just below this dam? Yeah. Jack, go hug that tree. We'll give that tree a hug. That is a massive tree. <laughs> All right, so we're trekking through the forest right now, trying to find, we don't even know if we're on the right pathway, but all we have to do is find the dam. What we're fishing right now is a little creek right next to our college called Four Mount Creek, and there's a, there's a dam and a big pool right below the dam, and supposedly in the springtime, they've caught some saw guys that run right below the dam. 
money. It's money. Oh wow. Look how cool that is. Have you ever seen that clear before? Dude, this turtles. This is usually super muddy, and it's a good four foot visibility Look at right that now. Bar, that bar over there. See the it? Bar? <laughs> what bar? The bar. The bar over there where those logs are. See how clear it is? Yeah. The fish are coming in. I think right off of that is where we caught them last time. This is so awesome. The forest is like completely alive. Forest, everything here, like the trees, everything is completely alive. Spring is in full force now. So here we are at the dam now. The water is running extremely clear, very low. My my confidence is not exactly through the roof, but I trust in Jack that we can get a couple saw guys. Never really caught a saw guy, I don't think. I don't think I've targeted saw guys, so it should be fun. I don't think they can resist a worm. I don't think anything can resist a worm. So that's the rig. You pump air into the worm and it floats. Well, let me see that tool. It's called a Lindy Worm Blower. Come on, focus. So apparently this, you just, it's a little needle and it just blows air into a worm. I've never heard or seen of this before. That's interesting. Well, let's see if it works. Jack, hold up your trophy catch. Yeah, that's not a saw guy, but we're on the board. Who'd have thought real worms would catch everything swimming? Okay, we got the hook and the split shot on, and now we need to blow air into the worm. Okay, I, I blew air into the worm. Fishing with worms brings back simpler times. I have not fished with worms in forever. Wow, we are really lighting it up, aren't we? All right, so this whole dam, all these eddies, didn't really catch anything. This deep pool didn't really catch anything except for a couple little bass. So I'm gonna move to the other side of the pool and hopefully get in some fish there. I know the saw guys are here, the bass are here. Don't really know why they're not hitting wormies though. Wow, there's a big school of bass right there. They're just not big. I have never seen bass ignore a real night crawler, but there's plenty of 10 to 12 inch large mouth and small mouth right in front of my face that I can't, oh, got a toad. Small mop took it. I was just saying, I've never seen so many bass ignore a night crawler. But spring smallies are aggressive enough to eat anything. Jack, how many respectable fish did we catch? Well guys, like I said before, there's a reason you've never really seen me make a video from this fishing spot being so close to Oxford. Uh, it kind of sucks. The reason we went is because last year at this time, Jack caught a bunch of saw guys right under the dam right there. How many did you catch? Probably 50 in a couple hours. Like it 50? Was every, it was every cast. How big were they? Like 15 to 22, somewhere in there. 15 to 22s, all right, well, we didn't see any signs of that around here today. A, a beautiful day for fishing, but the fish weren't exactly hot and heavy on our lures. I don't even think they're really here. I think they moved in a deep pool. I don't really know where they went. Which leads me to my next question, being which type of videos do you guys want to see? I got a week of filming here and then next week, me and John are going somewhere where I, a part of the country that I have never been. We're taking like a five, six, maybe a week long trip. So that's gonna be a really cool video. My plan was to go and fish for spawning fish all week on Brookville this week, but now that I don't have a boat, that's kind of gonna make that a little difficult. One might say impossible. Trying to stay positive, we're gonna get through this. Just mind a little hiccups, but it seems every time I turn the road, there's another speed bump in my fishing journey and fishing and filming journey per se. I get my camera back and then I lose my boat. So we're gonna work through it. It's gonna make, this is gonna force me to be creative. Again, I'd love to get out fishing with you guys. So like I said before, if you have a cool fishing experience, trip, anything you have in mind around the area, be sure to email me. I'd love to get out and fish with some of you guys. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you next time.